this is a skinny creek. Nice little size fish. Oh, look at that, guys. I'm using what's called a, a Z-Man finesse frog. I'm Matt, and I love looking for new places to cast a line, especially this time of year in early spring when the mighty native Australian bass are coaxed out from their favourite snag by anglers using top water lures. Ooh, let's see what this is. We've Nice little, nice little baffy. Get the, ah, very nice. Beautiful. Oh, new territory. First fish. It's a little, little Australian bass on the finesse frog in a watermelon color. So that's, um, it's quite a nice little, Nice little size fish, beautiful. I love Australian bass, they're just such a handsome looking critter and they fight really well. There you go little bud, good luck. Excellent start. What was interesting about that snag, I, I cast it um, twice just to see if there was um, anything that would be tempted by it and sure enough, something was, was interested. So we're up this little skinny creek and um, I'm using what's called a, a Z-Man finesse frog. It's a 2.75 inch long frog with a weedless TT chin locks um, hook and it's a 2.0 size and a light gauge. So the aim is that when you, um, when you rig this little frog, it's not actually really good at the moment, I'll just re-rig it. Um, you want to make sure that the, um, the hook is nice and centered and um, nice and um, protected so it gets that weedless action going. When looking for nice bass holding structure, you want to look for a submerged log, large rocks, sunken tree branches, shrubs, or bushes overhanging the bank on the shaded side of the creek. You can fire your weedless frog into most structure using a well-timed skip cast. The skip cast technique allows you to bounce your lure just like skimming a stone, deep into where a bass loves to hide out, waiting for an insect or small amphibious tasty delight to appear. If I can see it through the trees, brother. Oh, come on, get out of there. Nice. Second one on the board. Oh, shit. I'm in the bad spot here. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's done, Garn. It's in the water. Fish are like here, not in the trees at times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's not bad. It's about the same sort of size as earlier. That's a beautiful little, little bassy on the finesse frog. Just had it perfectly in that top jaw. Sorry, buddy. I'll just get this out of you in a second. Look at that. What's the scientific name of these? Macquarius Purchase. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Very technical. <laughs> yeah, Macquarie, uh, Mac there's Macquarie something. This is a good test, right? You're getting lots of hits on the white. And I'm using the watermelon. Yep. So it's good to kind of have a, a bit of a comparison. Yep, yep. I love slapping on a little S-Factor scent onto my soft plastics to tantalize the taste buds of my top water target species. How to lube your frog up. <laughs> Just not pinning them. That's right. Hey, you know, it's like a rodeo, right? More than eight seconds. <laughs> it's nice water. Nice temperature. Oh. 
The two Phils and I continued further upstream and I started peppering the bank, working along what looked like a really nice place for a bass to be hiding. Oop, oh, hit. Multiple casts may be required along a section of bank or structure. You can even cast from a different angle to attempt a fish to strike. <laughs> There's a fish under here, I can feel it. There aren't many bass that don't find the subtle plop and bubbling legs of a topwater frog irresistible. Oh, fish on. Oh, off. Fish. Oh, yep, on. Whoa, it's a better one. I told you there was a fish in there. Gee, this is decent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Feels all right. Oh. Man, he's fast. He's got a bit of go on him. Oh, that's all right. I'm going to measure him. Beautiful. That's beautiful. I, and I even said there was a bass in there. This is excellent, guys. Loving it. Whoa. This is a good one. Nice one. Oh, geez, just lip too. You reckon? Oh, Phil. 41. So he's 39 to the fork, 40, for, oh, we'll call it 41. Beautiful. Loving it. Whoop. And see you later. <laughs> he slipped off the brag mat. Yep, that's it, hands free. There you go, Gibbo. The Battle Yak Battle Mac reigns supreme. Oh, uh, well, I've got a tough call though. It's 46 centimetres as the PB, so that's all right. Not bad, pretty good. Oh, Phil's on. Wow. Hey, this is a, this is a kayak comp, not a land-based comp. Phew. Nice one, mate. <sighs> hey, I'll be that guy. <laughs> Pull one from between yous. Very good. Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, <laughs> oh, that was... Hang on, I'll, try, I'll take... I've seen, I've seen it happen. Yeah. Take two. <laughs> I have seen it happen. <laughs> oh, there was something in that corner there, mate. I know. You on? Oh, there was something in that corner there, mate. I know. You on? Yeah, oh, I'm on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that's all right. Oh, he's, hey, he's, he's gone to the dark frog. He's gone to the dark side. Yes. You.
Oh. And get out. Beach does, bro. Oh. Wowzers. Whoa. And I, I've got my, my drag up pretty good too. Oh my god. What a slob. Holy Oh, oh, mate, that's got to be 45. Holy shit. Oh, what a slab. Oh. The way that thing just pulled was like no tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, fuck, the heart's going hard, eh? That's, that went harder than the one up at um, Spot X. Oh, my goodness. Mate, that's f epic. This is. This is. F oh, I just had him lip too. <sighs> yeah. Oh, look at that, guys. What a slab. Excellent. That hit like a f freight train, that. It'll go. Oh, just up to the lip. 44 centimetres. But he fought like a 50. But if I caught a 50, I'd know what a 50 feels like. <laughs> uh, awesome, bud. Oh, awesome. mate. That's beautiful. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, what a way to finish the night. I've never oh. I've never been up here in the dark. Now he's done a big vom of, um, big vom of food, too. Yeah. Look like a shrimp. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. This is epic mate. Absolutely epic. This is that's okay, so I haven't done a lot of creek bass fishing, but that is well this is the best fishing session I've had in bass fishing, top water. Oh awesome man. So and it's a pleasure to spend it with you guys too. Yeah. This morning that like this first thing this morning now I look at how beautiful is that? Then it kind of all over cloudy and a bit, got a bit wild there at home. I'm going, oh, oh, oh don't you dare, you Yeah. But it's even like I say, it's even with that bit of breeze, that wind, it's it's still pretty comfy in here. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so protected. Oh, man. That, my drag, like, no joke, like, I've got that up and that just took line. It's feeding well. Oh, fish on! As the light began to fade and my night vision diminished, I hooked up to one final bass of the session. A little smaller, but that's all right. Thanks for watching today's session. Please subscribe to my channel for more hot top water action with surface lure fishing for Australian bass to come. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bite period's on, eh? Nice little bassy. See you later. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>